Welcome, Welcome to K Meme Review. Episode two. Back to PewDiePie's content. Yes, on yes. to the first meme. meme. Okay, oh, yeah. first meme. There's an infographic about selling AirPods. Used AirPods. The interesting fact is like apparently people lose the right side more than the left side. I personally think it means that people lose the left side more. Really? Why, why do you think more people are selling right size? Because they lost the left side. What? Okay, next meme. What? This is not a K-meme, but I think we need to talk about this. This is a protest against the coronavirus lockdown in good old America. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I saw I this going viral problem. in Korea, too. We're the government saying we can't go out. That's a prohibition. Mm. It's illegal. It's oh. against the Constitution. Oh, yeah. Why don't you compromise? This man oh. is very angry. Freedom! Wow. Freedom! Freedom! Oh, my. What? Wow, so funny. So, this person is 50 years old. She's a live streamer and she has two kids. She's a single mom. One of the commenters was like, If I super chat you $1,000. Will you shave your head? This is specific like culture in Korean live streaming. We call it a highway. We shave the middle of the head. That's it's like a highway, right? Live streamer was like, oh, well, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, and she probably thought they weren't gonna give her like a thousand dollars. But then someone did give her a thousand dollars, and so she's off to the hair salon. Wow, responsibility. And the hairstylist is like, oh, do I really have to do this? And eventually, uh, oh, she's no. like, oh. Oh, wow. That is just too sad. This oh. is not funny. This is sad. This is <laughs> this is what being a mother is like. You know, educate feed her family. And feed her family. Exactly. And the commenter actually gave her more money because she was like, oh, you, you did it. And then what? and then <laughs> once she received the uh once she received she received more money, uh she's out dancing again because she's happy now. And then there's this. What is this? This is this oh. titled uh Celebrity Gets Scammed. No, no, no. Legend. Celebrity Scam Legend. Oh, okay. So this dude, legend. this dude named Yang Hong, he's not that famous, but apparently when HOT was really hot, like the right, craze was right, crazy, right, like right. even above armies. Uh, he opened this new hair salon of his own, oh. and then he cut his own hair and said, Oh, this is the hair of H.O.T. And then all the fans from all over the nation flocked to his hair salon, oh. and he made this event saying like, If you cut your hair 10 times, I will give you one piece of H.O.T.'s hair. Oh. And then there were lines, lines, lines for days. After the event, he sold the hair salon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> all these girls had like sport buzz cuts because like they cut their hair 10 times oh. and he profited out of it. And then years after he's on TV now confessing his I personally think this is a crime. Even on the show are saying, isn't this a crime? Isn't this scam? And yeah, then yeah, yeah. his response is the Kong Cho Shio is over. Oh, <laughs> they can't catch him anymore. That is shady. Oh, I've seen on eBay like people selling uh, air from, you know, BTS concerts. Yeah. Who and... can verify if that's even yeah, yeah, that's, that's BTS pretty, concerts. pretty dumb. Uh, but I did, I did pick up confetti from I oh, think BTS yeah, yeah. concert, the, the Billboard Music or, Awards, or yeah, something like that. Yeah. And I wanted to sell it, but then, um, yeah, I lost it. I don't know where. <laughs> At it least is. that was actual confetti yes, from the concert. Yes, it's guy verified. Cut his own it's hair. Verified. It's verified. Okay, this one. Oh, okay. So recently, uh, we have these practice tests leading up to the actual KSATs yeah. in Korea. Um, because of the, you know what, uh, we had to have all the students take them inside their homes. On the day of the practice test on Naver, the trending keywords were this. 2020 March practice test answer sheet. They're all like um, these words that appeared on the practice oh. test. First part was like searching up Korean words uh -huh. that were difficult. Oh, this is and real time. This is like the Korean test time. Uh -huh. And then it goes into the math, math. Test, test, testing time. Sine, cosine, tangent. And what is sine, cosine, tangent? What is uh -huh. ra one radian? Oh, and then the English, English test, gossip. I'm jealous, frightened. This guy is the hottest YouTuber in Korea. He has this investigative show where he does things to find out like obscure things. And right. on this episode, he he explored a Korean dating app right. where you have to get a verification process of like you post your pictures, uh, you get evaluated by right. uh, peers and like um, girls. 
and you have to pass that. You have to pass a certain amount of ranking to enter the app. Yeah, so they reach out of five. The average score has to be about like three. Yeah, we, three. we both we both qualified. No, no I've, I've actually tried like five times. He wanted to make a video about like, are dating apps real? Like, are these people actually existing? Oh, the girls. Yeah, the girls, do they actually exist? But he couldn't do the video because he couldn't pass the test. Oh, that's the end of the video? <laughs> that's the end of the video. Oh. So there's been rumors that Kim Jong-un is either dead or he's like in a plant state. There's this one international gamer that uh -huh. Claim that he can prove that Kim Jong Un is dead, <laughs> and then this is the Steam active user map, uh, and there was one active user in, in North P Korea, Pyongyang. in Pyongyang. That active user went Mia. <laughs> Kim Jong Un is he a gamer? I think he would be the only one that has uh, access right, to right, right. like capitalistic evil American I mean, Steam right, platform. Right. So uh, I hope he's. Dead? <laughs> what? I hope I don't die. Yeah, I hope I hope I don't get spies like trying to poison me and shit. I hope you're happy, Kim Jong-un. Okay, that was it for K meme review. Maybe this is the two. last episode because yeah, that was pretty but underwhelming. You guys, you guys. Okay, so next time, please uh send us the memes. We'll post up something on Twitter asking you guys to send in memes, Korean memes that you want explained. Yeah. And uh, we'll give you the explanation in the next episode. Right. So please send in the memes that you think are funny and that you think need explanation. And we'll take a look. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.